Transmedia is still very much in the early phase. We do have a Provost Immersive Learning Grant to put together a Transmedia project next semester. Of course, when I say Transmedia, people say, what is that? Transmedia storytelling is really, there's two, two different ways to look at it. There is um, this world-based storytelling, which is what most people are familiar with. But there's this other way, it's an emerging way, it's, which is taking one story, disassembling it, and putting it in different mediums. So for instance, our story will begin in a book, and every character in that book will have websites uh, around them and phone numbers that, uh, that you can call. So it's one story told in many places as opposed to many stories about the same thing within a world. And our plan is to build a fictional story using artifacts from the Indiana State Museum and locations in Indiana that are real. When you read a good piece of fiction or when you get involved in a virtual space, um, if you do it well, it is real. Right? It's as real as anything else, um, and that's sort of the goal of that part of the project. A good story that combines fact and fiction in this way that we're talking about and that highlights Indiana State Museum content could potentially cause people to want to come to the museum. Throughout this process, what I've actually found is museums around the world are having the exact same problem, which is we have lots of stuff. We can't get people to come down to see it. How can we do this? We're mixing students who will be as uh, uh, associated with the fictional aspects of the story with journalism students who will be associated with the factual portions of the story. You can imagine immersing these students not only in the um, sort of multidisciplinary project creation, but also once we create this, using this as a way to introduce people to the history of Indiana, um, New Harmony and the sort of weirdness that's gone on down there for uh, you know, 100 years. New Harmony, Indiana is one of the locations that will appear in the fictional story and the graphics students will build a whole website on New Harmony that is factual, that has timelines about New Harmony and the New Harmony movement. The most often asked question is um, how are you going to get an audience when you make them do heavy lifting, right, when you send them to different places. It's how do we tell a good story that uses all these different mediums in ways that keeps people engaged. Not how can I make it easier on you, but how can I make it good enough that you don't want to go away.